Access card found. Two access card found. Green furry, After watching his opponents grab access card. cards and listening to the computer tell him to hurry about 20 times, Which it is now time for Green to two, go once again. Zero, zero, probe found. Code two, two. Green Did probe, you hear that? 2.2. That's pretty similar to the code. Oh wait, it is the code we wrote down earlier. Green player has just found the Omega probe virus. Found. There's just probe. one problem. Two. Green has no two. weapons. Green but this gives you an advantage because only you know where the Omega virus is for now until someone explores this room. Which room? One, one, one disruptor found. Code oh, that's just great. Two. Everybody has an access card, and now blue has a disruptor, while green has nothing. Hey, I found a negatron. Now the three weapons fit conveniently onto the commando's backpack. Twenty-five minutes until I take over. You fool! Green probe furry. Yeah, yeah, he'll get there. One, one, one access denied. Apparently Yellow thought he could trick the computer and just go into a blue room without a blue access card. But the computer Yellow is that smart. It knows who has what green. access card. Yellow what the fuck? I only have one weapon. Look at the bottom of the access card holder in front of you. It lists the codes for attacking one of the eight pieces on the board. Now green must look away while yellow inputs his attack button. When green energizes his shields, he'll want to energize the exact same shield of the button green that yellow player hit. Yellow probe steals a Motherfucker! Green, well, I can't help you now, he just stole my fucking Negatron! Will you shut up so I can move? Once there's 10 minutes left in the game, the Omega Virus will start talking twice as fast. Now that really did happen in the game. He taunted, warned us we had 10 minutes, and then taunted once again. He will taunt you almost every turn once there is five minutes left in the game. Hey, I finally have all three access cards. Wow, wasn't that cool? Uh-oh, Yellow has three weapons, and I know he's standing right next to the room that houses the Omega Virus. What the hell? Why would he blow up the probe of the person who has the least amount of weapons? Near the end of the game, the Omega Virus just starts shutting down sectors and blowing up droids. I mean, probes. About this time, the gameplay gets really intense because people are scrambling to find the weapons, the Omega Virus is blowing up your droids and sometimes blowing you up to kill your weapons. And to top it off, the Omega Virus keeps taunting and talking, giving you less time to finish the game before he destroys the world. Shit, Yellow found the virus. Now that Yellow has found the virus, he has one of four buttons to choose to destroy the Omega Virus, giving him a 25% chance of success. Since Yellow failed, he knows what button not to hit next time. This means his success rate of success is only 33% next turn, then 50% after that, and then 100% after that. You know what? Fuck the world. I just want revenge on Yellow for stealing my fucking Negatron. Damn it, I just want to kill him before we all die. Green is attacking yellow. Green, take your best shot. Yellow, energize three shields. Green, missed full. Blue, red, furry. Enter room code. Two, zero, two, disruptor, found. Code, zero, zero. <laughs> red, furry. 
about this point in the game, nobody cares about saving the world anymore. They just want to shut this fucker up. Yellow must be destroyed. Yellow, help me. Help me. With less than two minutes to go, can anybody stop the Omega virus? Will Yellow survive his second attempt? Will Red get a chance at all? Will Green ever get his revenge? Enter room code two zero zero. You found me. Try and stop me. You human scum. You win. And that was the Omega Virus. But of course, you could have also lost. You want to see that, don't you? <laughs> Too late. This station is mine. I win. <laughs> Red terminated. Yellow terminated. Overall, this game is exciting. It's fun to blow up your friends' weapons or their droids. The game is not too complex, and any kid above the age of 10 could probably comprehend and play it. The only thing about this game is that the virus can get really, really annoying. Now, this was my favorite game as a kid, so I was ecstatic when, at Origins, I got to play this game with the creator, Michael Gray. He also created the games Dream Phone and Mall Madness. He told me he created the virus to be annoying on purpose so people would be tempted to shut him up by killing him. He also told me there might be a secret game in Omega Virus where the virus moves from room to room every turn. Now, I tried every single button configuration I could think of. 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, R, 1, 2, 3, R, on. Basically, if you hit repeat three times before even starting the game, the virus laughs, but that's all I could find out. If you know of any secret with this game, please email me so I can sleep at night.